Hello and welcome to Big Fingers Game Bastard Vons. This is a new series I'm going to be doing. Um, I looked at the trailers and stuff for it and was really grabbed by the creation options in, within this game. So I thought maybe the best thing to do was um, try it out. Um, it looks a lot darker than I thought it would be. So I thought why not just get into it, get down to the nitty gritty and see what's going on. So let's start a new character. The door creaks open and a guard takes you by the arm. Expressionless, he takes you into a dim courtroom and leads you up to a podium where you stand alone before a row of white wigs and black robes. The hush falls over the assembly and the judges speak. We take cord of the defendant's likeness for the court's archives. Oh my god, customization! Oh wow, okay. We can load outfits. Wow, see, you can load different people to see, like... Alright, well, on a tip, I have tried this game out a little bit before coming on here, and this was the lovely character I got. So, let's, uh... I'm gonna use this layout just so it's not too crazy. If you really want to get into the nitty gritty of this clothes stuff, then buy the game and do it yourself. It's pretty much you select a colour and then you select what you want to go over the top and it will go over the top. That's actually kind of cool even though that was done so randomly. But I'm not going to keep that on. And then you decide how you want it to lay out depending on uh, the arrows. So. We're going to continue quite quickly through to get to the actual gameplay. State your name for the court. I don't think I'm going to be able to put my name in. Oh no, I can. I lied. Jordan, you stand accused before the court. Um, no, you... No, you charges... No... No, you, the charges brought against you. Well... As much as I would love to pick one, I'm going to this time because I've clicked on a few because I wanted to see what the storylines were like and every single one is a little different in the beginning. But I'm going to go for I don't know this time. You've been accused of burglary, burglaring your countman's possessions and coins. What says you of these charges? I have, cannot admit, I have not admitted thievery. You claim you are innocent, but the court has already heard the testimony of the most honourable witness against you. Your plead rings false, and the court notes your deception. Jordan, the court has deliberated upon your fate. Your, cr your criminal shall afford you much time to consider your actions. Five years of your life shall be paid in penance. You are hereby stripped of your citizenship and judge guilty, you shall be branded with your crime and interned at the scholar of Lukarat to await the execution of your sentence. May the soul have, may God have mercy on your soul. You are taken back to your cell where you are held down by several guards as your neck is burned with a hot iron. Oh my God, ow. You are forever branded a thief. Um... Over the next few days, you are taken by a boat to the island of Lukrat. An angry wind whips heavy rain as you are put on a lifeboat with another man in chains and jet jettisoned some different, some distance from the shore. The current carries you rapidly towards the short cove where men in guarded uniforms wait to receive you. Without a word, you are daggered Staggered, well, dragged from the beach and up the path to the old fortress that houses the stocks and throne, soaking and soaked and shivering into your cell where you will wait for the execution of your sentence. Something, however, seems strange. Nobody comes to check on you. Nobody comes to feed you. Time passes and the agonise time passes at an agonizing crawl, and it seems you are being left to die here, despite your sentence. Then, after who knows how long, there is a voice at your cell door that snaps you back to action. Hey, you, pinch. Eat this. You don't look so good. 
A roll of bread drops in through the bars and tumbles towards you. As you tear into it, the voice continues. I have a proposition for you, but first I need to know if you really are what they say you are. Tell, tell me, are you really a thief? I can choose now whether I want to be a thief or whether I don't. Whether you stick to your story influences the abilities of the party members and personal traits, as well as the player's alignment. A thief. Well, you know what? Being able to steal stuff is not always a bad thing. It is true. I am a thief. Stap. Hardly a glorious alliance. But we'll, we'll have to ma manage. A man with a grizzly hair and a door expression steps up to the bars and begins to unlock the door. I am Sharp Trio, a sorcerer. I managed to snag a few keys before the guard from the guard as he passed by my cell, but there's no telling how long it will be before they discover something is amiss. The door swings open gently at the lock and as the lock is undone. Sharp Sharpero is dressed in what must be once had been a grand master's robe, now soiled and tattered, and he looks very tired. We don't have much time, and we'll need some kind of strategy. I can cast some simple spells. What, sh what do I expect of you? He can cast some simple spells. Well, I'm a thief, so I'm obviously going to be really good at the this sort of thing, the utilities, but I want to be a really good fighter. So, hunter's good, let's get the hunter up, let's get that up, and the labourer. I'm going to get one more dodge, and then I want all of my skills mostly to be towards fighting. Alright, my health, my movement, and my carry. I can only carry two, that's fine. I can only carry two things, move six and HP. Okay. I can, I can live from this. Escape from your cell. Sharprio nods and turns towards the hall. Let's go then. What is your character? What is the character of your response? Hmm. I think I'm a thief. I want to be... I want to be adventurous. Screw it. I'll be adventurous. You step out of the cell into the hallway. Thank you, Spartio. Let's get out of here. Nice response. Okay. Your companion points towards the north. You exited that way. I hope you're up to it. All right. Oh my God. Okay, so I knew it wasn't all talking this game. Let's have a look. There is a guard waiting in the next room, and you will have to fight him. People with high fight or hunt ratings will do a lot of damage in combat, while people with high guard or dodge ratings are good at stoking or avoiding it. People with high blast rating can do a lot of damage when they are not in close combat, and a high ward rating allows you to heal wounds or distribute an enemy's magic. That's good. So he's got, he hasn't got a high ward either. He's got blast and weave. Okay. It's not too bad. Try to position fighters so the enemies are forced to come to you. This lets you have the first strike in close combat. Sometimes having someone in close combat who just defeats themselves is more useful than having them attack. What does this one say? Left clicking on the map will always be a movement, right clicking will always be an interaction. Objects that can be interacted with will show feedback text when you move over them. Unless you are telekinetic, you have to be close in order to interact. Oh, I'd love to be telekinetic, that would be f so cool. Alright. Let's open the door. Oh, there's the guard. Uh, so if I... God, I get to move both of them, that's kind of cool. I'll attack you. Nice, he's ranged. So I'm going to be the one that gets hit. Ow! Alright. Oh, what is that? Approach, take. 
Ah, there you go, that was right. That is the storage place for it. I wonder what it could be for. It's a sandwich. Food is normally, oh, what is that? A small iron key has been left on the table here. Cool, got a key. This kind of key is generic and will fit any door that requires a normal key. Let's read this. Give your party members a chance to evaluate the surroundings by holding still. Your party members will find the key to this door if you let them. Oh, okay, I found that. Press R, press R key or spyglass button on the left hand side of the screen to show you items that may be loose on the floor. The guard dropped a sandwich. If you haven't already, pick it up and put it in an inventory slot by the right click and then left click the slot. I did it! I went that one out on my own. I'm happy. If someone was injured within the fight with the guard, I paused the game and I have no idea why or how. <laughs> uh, press number keys one to four and then right click hold and eat the sandwich. Okay. Food is reasonably plentiful and cannot be used in combat so use it to keep your health topped up. Alright, so the lighter one is the one we're on, so she's the one who got hurt, and she's fully healed. Nice. Is a door. Oh, was that a door there? Jordan, I thought I heard something. It might just be my imagination. Can't investigate. Okay. What about this door? I'm quite ready to get rid of this place, I think. Oh, it's locked. Got to be something good inside then. Uh, still in the grasps of a dusty corpse is a key. It looks like he never got the chance to use it. Got a new key. Tattered scroll. I say, if we finally worked out the spell that will open the da um, damned mechanical doors, now I just need to wait for the right moment to use it. This scroll is a weave challenge. Challenges require points and utility skills. In this case, weave can uh, be careful though. You can be injured if you fail to overcome the challenge. The task is clearly outside the range of your ability. Uh, and you would only injure yourself for an attempt. You better have another, more qualified person attempt this. Okay, is is Sharpio then a high enough level to attempt this? The task is clearly out of your range. Apparently not. Alright, Sharpio. Unlock. All right. Move there. Come back in. All right, come at me, gods. Oh no. That not good. I'm gonna get hurt by both of them. Oh my god. Nice. Come on, you're not gonna damage me. I'm getting out of here. And another hit. Oh, run. Woo! Alright. So she definitely needs that food. Um, how do I one and then I hold? All right. Well, that was a uh, decent. Is anyone else out here? Doesn't look like it. Emergency release. The door displays a uh, gear icon is locked by mechanisms. This usually means you will need to find a switch somewhere that will release the lock. 
In this case, you can bypass mechanisms by succeeding on one of three challenges. If neither of your party members are qualified for these challenges, you will find the switch. Uh, getting the excellent result on the challenge gives bonus experience and other rewards. If a person is challenging, it probably it probably qualified. Uh, okay, seeing as I'm not, that means, yeah. I'm going to look around first though. You notice the enemy is attacking with reckless bursts. If you use shift key in combat when you select your action to perform it recklessly instead. A reckless action increases your risk gauge every time you perform one, but it only ends the turn if you fumble. Uh, the more risk you have, the more likely a fumble will occur. Fumble actions fail and expose you to extra damage until your, your next turn. Caution actions will never fumble regardless of the risk, but they will immediately end your turn. Uh, managing risk effectively might decide whether to be reckless and when to be cautious is a key to success. Daredevils, however, contribute bonus experience to the party, so it may on occasion be worthwhile to throw a ca uh, caution in the wind experiment somewhat. Alright. Oh. Stoked fire. There's nothing here. Oh. I lied. There is something here. He's going to attack. Yep. Boom! Nice! Okay. Oh, there's a sandwich. And there was something up there. I thought I heard something, just my imagination perhaps. Probably not. You found an old battered dagger. Not great, but is better than nothing. Right click an item on the ground to pick it up. I did. Alright. That's where it goes. That's what I thought. Ooh, so it upgrades my physical by 20. I like points. Is there anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. Let's go to the other room then. Nothing upon these tables. It's locked. We need an order a key. Mm, I need health. Alright, that's fine. Oh. Knew it. Come at me. Ouch. Oh, he does 11 each? Boom. Okay, seven. You can't do 20. That would not be allowed. A three. Oh my god, she's gonna die. No, 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 no. 12. No! 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 Why? Justice has been served. Oh, bull you. Continue. What does continue do? Okay, continue chucks me back. So I go back to the beginning. Okay. Well, I'm going to end this episode here and maybe not fight that guy next time. I will... Next episode will be at that point where I can fight him again, hopefully, and I will see you in whatever I decide to film next. I hope you like Bastard Bonds. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and a hell of a lot of uh, me going, why have I died? Um, but... I don't know. I think we could do quite a bit of fun with this. I will see you guys later. Bye!